What would you say is the biggest change that you've seen in travel over the last decade? I would say um, the do-it-yourselfers. Because before, yeah. I just say, you know, that I mean, that's been evolving and there's been a lot of people, you know, being doing everything on their own. Um, you know, we, we were travel agents. You had to call a travel agent. You know, you really didn't have the ability to book trips, you know, otherwise. I mean, you could, mm -hmm. you know, call an airline. But in terms of actually booking a vacation, it wasn't really doable the way it is now. Mm. Uh, and the also, uh, the other thing I think has just been the evolution of experts and specialists, people yes. that are really um, becoming very, very mm -hmm. um, knowledgeable in a very specific kind of travel. And for, because for us, you know, gosh, we sold everything when we were travel agents. We, I mean, the whole world, <laughs> we specialized in nothing. Um, you know, we literally <laughs> sold everything. And, Same. you know, but now I, it's just a lot of people that really have kind of become hyper focused on a particular type of travel and really made a great business out of it. You know, being a Hawaii expert or, you know, uh, uh, an expedition expert, whatever, or a certain destination in particular. Um, so I think that's really kind of evolved. And I think people are migrating back to those specialists because there's so much information out there that an expert and a specialist can really kind of help you slice through all of that and sort of guide you on the right path. I think people today are realizing that they need more balance and mm -hmm. get the way even for a few days is so critical to your health, right? So yeah. I think more and more people are opting yeah. to travel today, even though it might be a close to home destination. Um, well, I think travel's on everybody's list today, young and old alike. Uh, I also think personalization, people want to do what they want to do when they want to do it, right? That's really, yes. I mean, he see that in the mice space big time right now. People don't want to be dictated to. They want to do what they want to do. The yeah. event for travel is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's uh, a lot. It's a lot more, uh, more frequent vacations for shorter durations. So versus yeah. the one long, you know, two week trip, a lot of people are taking more frequent, shorter trips. That's been also an evolution, probably in the last ten years that that's come about. But like Lori said, you know, they want to do things that are different. People are kind of wanting to get out of the normal box of. The trip destination and see things that are uniquely cultural, culturally interesting to that destination and get off the beaten path and sort of go to these lesser known places. So that's been obviously growing and expanding as well the last two years. That instantly makes me think of how Airbnb expanded their experiences yeah. into like all these you incredible, mean? really wacky places to stay. Like you can stay in a giant potato. People want to <laughs> do different things. People, you might want to go to Idaho and stay in a huge potato. <laughs> 